kalagan, ako si Kalagan Fritz at ito ang Laagan sa Sugbo. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Laagan sa Sugbo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Sugbo. It's another pageant episode and another pageant king na naman ang matchichikahan nating araw na to. And it's a very special day kasi international king na talaga yung i-interview natin. Help me welcome Men of the Philippines World Fitness Supermodel 2022 who will be representing the Philippines. Once again, we have Brian Diaz. Hello Brian, kumusta? Hello. It's been a while the last time that we we were having this um vlog, di ba? Yes. So, how was it? Kumusta? being crowned as the world fitness supermodel well, it feels like yesterday na you interviewed me oh. <laughs> so, yeah. okay can you tell us just a short story lang your journey nung pumunta kayo ng Jensen that your experience mm -hmm. with your co-candidates uh, going there I feel like it was very I was very anxious I didn't know what to expect uh, when we arrived sa Jensen the place was so Beautiful. Uh, meeting our co-candidates for the first time, it's very intimidating. They're like, oh wow, parang popogi nila. Uh, you, you can feel their aura when you, when you enter the room. And I wasn't expecting na, like, okay, arrange yourselves by height. Uh, Ay, talaga may ganun? Yeah, may ganun na talaga? Yeah, were, arrange yourselves by height. And then, in the end, I didn't know na I was the tallest. Because in like other interviews, my may nagsasabi na, oh, I'm 6'1". Oh, I'm I'm ganyan pero yung sa alam ko, I'm six flat. Ah, so when okay. when we were there, parang parang bride kaya ata six flat, dapat parang six to kaya ata. <laughs> ah, ano <laughs> mga expectations mm. oh, Okay. So I ended up being the tallest and in a way among all the contestants. All the contestants. Oh, amazing. Okay. Now, how was it? Let's bring back again um on the day that it was announced. Anong feeling mo on that day? Uh, thinking about it still gives me gives me goosebumps. Uh actually, uh, when we were announced for top 4, mm -hmm. inside I was crying. Like I was like, okay na to. Masaya ka na doon. Masaya na ako doon uh -huh. kasi uh just the fact na knowing na we we all top four have uh, international titles na mm -hmm. it doesn't matter which one. <laughs> ah, okay. As long as, as you're already in the top yes. four, so masaya yeah. ka na doon. Yeah. And all I thought na uh, whatever question that was thrown at me, I'm just gonna answer it. I, I don't have to think na I'm, I have to get this, I have to get that. I was thinking, I just answer it, then I'm good. Oh, Just get this I over see. with. Now, ito na lang. Kasi, with all the hot picks ng mga pageant vloggers like me, mm -hmm. hindi masyado matunog yung name mo for the crowns. Mm -hmm. Only for top 20, tinawag ka nga yung Dark Horse. Yeah. Diba? <laughs> oh, Kasi, iba naman talaga. Si, si, si Lapu Lapu City, mm -hmm. andun sa hot picks na may crown. Yung iba, ganun, ganun. Diba? Pero, instead of those um, hot picks, ikaw yung na-crown. Ano masasabi mo? Actually, I was expecting uh, not to be, you know, uh, have that kind of exposure mm -hmm. yet. Uh, what I, th I was thinking to myself, uh, it doesn't matter who they think are, is gonna win. Because I know that my f fight begins once the question and answer starts. Ah, Java. <laughs> yun naman talaga. So, yun na, if you are on that stage na talaga mm -hmm. with having those questions. Mm -hmm. Alright? Now, meron pa rin tayong boiling question ngayong araw na to. <laughs> Bibigyan pa rin kita ng challenge. So, I prepared still some boiling question. I-test na naman ulit natin siya kung ma-answer niya to. I prepared, again, four boiling questions for you. Okay. I want you to pick numbers and give it to me. And those numbers have specific questions. Go ahead. Uh, this one. Okay. All right. We have boiling question number two. Okay. Do you think that speaking English should be a prerequisite to define intelligence? Why or why not? I have to disagree with that because uh, speaking English doesn't need to be a prerequisite because uh, you can be intelligent without having the need to speak English because you can, as long as you can articulate your ideas well in your mother tongue or whichever uh, language you're speaking in, I believe that you can prove that you're intelligent. 
Yes. Like for example, kung kung ma- mas maka-express ka kasi, mm-hmm. if it's your it's your if it's your Bisaya, you can express it b- by Bisaya, why not, 'di ba? Okay. Now, pick your next boiling question. Here. Okay, we have boiling question number 3. Okay. What is the importance of joining a male pageant? Well, for me, the importance has uh, stayed the same when joining male pageants. It's to show that male pageants has this stigma competing with, you know, like female pageants. And that I think that joining male pageants uh, is a good thing so that we can have more people watch male pageants. Yes, and also ngayon naman, iba naman talaga yung mga male pageant na umaangat na rin, di ba? Mm. Aside from those female pageant, umaangat na rin mga, fi- mga male pageant. And also makuda na rin ang mga male pageant. Alright, okay, pick your next boiling question. Here. Okay, boiling question number one. Social media has become a prominent factor in the way we perceive one another. Mm. Do you believe social media has had a positive or negative effect on the way we judge beauty? It has a negative impact when it comes to judging, you know, the beauty standards nowadays. Uh, beauty is not only, you know, uh, upfront. It's also how you are as a person, your personality. It all translates into being beautiful. If you're good to other people, if you do good to your community, if you do good to, to your friends and your family, I think that's what makes you beautiful. Yes, you should be beautiful inside and out. Yes. Diba? Pati na rin yung attitude. Mm. Yung talaga yung pinaka-importante. Okay, pick your last but not the least boiling question. Yes. Which is boiling question number four. What are your thoughts on people thinking negatively about beauty Pageant. Uh, first of all, I just like to uh, tell them to try and watch beauty pageants from start to finish. Uh, see how the journey of the contestants within these pageants. It's not. It's no joke. Uh, you know, experiencing the the beauty pageants myself. Uh, the hard work that goes into becoming a beauty queen or king. It's very inspiring to have some of these these candidates come from different parts of the Philippines, different parts of the world, uh, gather all in this one stage just to prove uh, that they are the best. Yes, no, not talaga. Because if, like, for example, you were bringing the Philippines already, and you're not bringing the Cebu na mm-hmm. Philippines na iba na talaga if you were on the stage na mm-hmm. the trainees, the Q and A trainees, the pasarela, de ba? Kaya nga nagwawonder talaga kung bakit may iba talaga na mugobash na hindi naman nila alam kung anong pinagdaanan yes. nung isang kandidata na yon, de ba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, now akalaga. Now before we continue with our next segment, I would like to thank first our sponsor. I would like to thank Cebu Century Plaza Hotel for our accommodation and for the venue for our interview today. And I would like to personally thank Timplora Dermatolica for always making me fresh because I am Timplora Touch. Now let's lighten up, let's loosen up, let's have fun because our next segment is Jojo Wain or Trotro Pahin. Okay, there are photos seen in front of me and I want you to choose if gusto mo bang jojoain or trotropahin right. okay <laughs> ready ka na ba ready na ready, ready na yan <laughs> okay first photo jojoain or trotropahin Miss World Megan Young hmm uh trotropahin Oh, okay, <laughs> totoo pa rin, ang ganda naman niya. For the male ha. <laughs> Actually kasi I think uh she's very kalog in a way and then I think that with her being mm-hmm. uh like a streamer nowadays, I think that we uh, get along well. Since ah, with the games and everything. <laughs> oh, I see. So, magkasabay kayo, mga ganon. So, kaya totropahin lang. Okay, natrotropa lang si Kwan. Miss World. All right. First runner-up, Miss Grand International, Samantha Bernardo. Mm. Jojo. <laughs> Jojo Wain. Oh, bakit naman Jojo Wain to? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wala. Basta, film mo lang siya. Film mo lang. Film mo lang siya ng Jojo Wain. Eh, bakla, bakla din to eh. <laughs> okay. 
Next. Jojo wa in artrotropahin na Miss Universe 2015, Pia Alonzo words ba? Uh, Trotropahin. Trotropahin? <laughs> Miss Universe na to? Bakit? Ah, no, I think having... Uh, At ang laki ng hinaharap nito, ha? Ah. Kulo ka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, wala naman sa ganun. Um, feel ko, she's very uh, kalog as a person. Uh, fun yung personality niya. And I'd really like to have her as a friend. Oh, say friend na lang kasi may jowa na dito. Engage na to. Huwag <laughs> na. Okay. Jojowain or trotropahin Miss Universe Catriona Gray. Mm. Jojowain. <laughs> Jojowain. Ito talaga si Catriona. Kahit sa ang pageant yung Jojowain talaga. Bakit naman Jojowain sa'yo? Ano? The way she talks, it's very... Um, very, it's like I want to marry her voice. <laughs> oh, voice lang. Voice lang talaga, di ba? Iba naman kasi talaga siya, di ba? Okay. Uh, tsaka po total package din to eh. Alright. Okay, so kindly please invite our Laagan sa Sugbu viewers where we can follow you, your social media platform, and how we can support you for Men of the Philippines World Fitness Supermodel, your coronation day, and where it will be held. And also, who would you like to say thank you? Go ahead. Okay, so uh, my social media uh, handles are at John Brian Diaz in Instagram and J Brian Diaz underscore on my TikTok. So on there, I will be posting my journey towards uh, the World Fitness Supermodel next year, uh, 2023, which will be held in Thailand. And <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> uh, uh, I would like to thank, first of all, uh, my parents for being so supportive of me in my journey uh, here in Man of the Philippines, becoming uh, your world fitness supermodel. Uh, for those who helped me uh, here in Cebu, uh, there's a lot to name, so <laughs> uh, I'll be uh, visiting them soon here uh, to thank them personally. and. Um, of course, I'd like to thank uh, the whole Man of the Philippines uh, production and staff. Uh, they've been so friendly. Uh, the management, they've, they've been so helpful uh, with my reign so far. And I hope that you'll catch me World Fitness Supermodel next year in Thailand. Yes, yung Team Cebu naman talaga. No? Iba na talaga yung Team Cebu. <laughs> Alright, so once again mga kalagan, we have Man of the Philippines World Fitness Supermodel 2022, Brian Diaz. Congratulations for grabbing one of the crown and good luck on your international passion. Thank you so much, <laughs> All right. And also, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Lagan sa Subbu and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Subbu. You may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalaagan Fritz nagsasabi, stay safe, be a responsible Kalaagan, at ito ang Laagan, Laagan sa Subbu. Subbu.